thanks a lot for staying with us on TVC News. In other reports now, Islamic clerics, traditional rulers and political leaders have joined the Latif Jakondi family for the second year remembrance of their patriarch, who was the first civilian governor of Lagos State. Senior correspondent Adi Doja Salam Adini was there. It is the goodness that the late Latif Jakonde stood for when he was alive that made his second year remembrance still attract huge number of dignitaries from across the state and beyond. A leader must have integrity. The second one is honesty. A leader must be courageous to take some decisions that will be beneficial to people. The idea of that topic is to come back and discuss the good style of leadership of Alaji Jakonde. Alaji Jakonde did very well. That is why he was able to achieve a lot of things in Lagos State. Lagos State's deputy governor is the patron of the Alhaji Latif Jakonde Help Foundation a non-governmental and not-for-profit organization that focuses on education, health, housing, and other humanitarian works. These sectors were what LKJ was known for. He lived a life of humanity, helping people to achieve many goals. So the essence for us is how do we assist the less privileged in terms of health and education. It's a foundation with, 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 that we have an audited account so we are asking people to bring, contribute whatever it is. Let's make it big, let's make it huge, so that we can impact as many people as possible in Lagos and beyond. Obafemi Amzad also used the occasion to seek the votes of attendees and the need to vote right by voting the All Progressives Congress across board. In Lagos, I mean, over 6 million people have collected their PVC. Let them go out and vote, and vote for APC, because it's a government that has done well, we need to continue what we've started so that we can make life easier for Lagosians. And as for the federal, my expectation is that over 93 million people that collected their PVC will vote massively for Ashwag Bola Metinumbu. For the late Jakonde's wife and children, they are found solely in the good name and legacies of their father. After Baba left, so God is with, God is with us and uh, we are still continuing. And we believe that God will continue to be with us. Anyway, I thank God for his life and, uh, you know, we just keep on praying for him and praying for the family that we keep maintaining the name of the family. The first civilian governor of Lagos State, the late Latif Jakonde, died in his sleep at his Ilupeju house at the age of 91 on 11th of February 2021. Adidoja Salamadini, TBC News, Lagos.